Hello students, welcome back to the lecture class 1 on chapter 1 lathe in the elements of mechanical engineering course in module 5. This is the first lecture class in the fifth module, uh, first chapter lathe. Today's class we are going to discuss about the introduction, working principle of center lathe, parts of center lathe, specification of lathe. Next, coming to the introduction, lathe is the oldest machine tool. It is used to remove excess material using the cutting tool. It is used for cylindrical parts. They are also called as turning machines. So, it is the oldest machine tool. Lathe is the oldest machine tool. So, lathe word actually it has come from the tree called lath. L-A-T-H, lath. So, in the olden days, uh, the people used to uh, remove the material with the help of a, a stem of a, a big stalk, stem of a tree and they used to tie a rope and, uh, and the material will be removed. Excess material from the uh, big stalk, it will be removed with the help of a lath tree. That is why the name has given as a lathe. So why this lathe is used? First we will understand why this lathe is used. So lathe is used to remove the material. This uh, material, uh, this uh, material, uh, only we use the metal, not the non-metal. Here in this machine, especially we use uh, metallic material, especially mild steel, not the, not even the cast iron. Mild steel we use. We can use aluminium also. The mild steel we are using. So mild steel is having a high ductility. Uh, so it gives the it is uh, it is machinable it is machinable machinable means uh, we are able to remove the material in the form of a fine chips so we will get a continuous chips uh, with the help of mild steel material so uh, why we have to remove the material from a uh, from a big uh, a big stock of material in order to produce the products see some of the products we have to make by removing the material that is called as machining process some of the material we have to melt it and we have to pour, pour it in a cavity and then we have to uh, allow it to solidify uh, later we will get a, that solid object that is called a casting there are several ways to make a product okay this is one of the way or uh, one of the manufacturing method by which we are making the products that is by is by machining process Machining means is the metal removal process. Metal removal process is called as a machining process. For that lathe is used. Not only the lathe, one of the machine tool. Lathe is one of the machine tool uh, we are making use to make a product. Desired product as per the specification. Apart from lathe, we have several other machine tools are there. Several other machine tools are there like uh, milling, drilling. Uh, slotting, shaping, planing, etc. So many machines are there. So this is the lathe is one of the oldest machine tool and is a uh, father of all the machine tool. That means it is the one, it is the one uh, we first invented and later on other machines are invented. Okay. Uh, so we say it is the oldest machine tool. It is used to remove excess of material using the cutting tool. Excess that is which is not required for us. So that is why we can understand this machining process is a an uh, is a uh, material reduction process. You cannot once you remove it, you cannot again get back them because as a metal you cannot set back it. Say for example, the cylindrical rod is there, cylindrical rod, and the diameter of cylindrical rod is thirty mm diameter. So you wanted to make twenty five mm. You require 25 mm for some application. In such cases, you have to be very cautious. Till 25 mm, you have to remove. So once if you remove uh, more than 25 mm, so let us say you will get it, you will end up with 24 mm. So that 24 mm diameter cylindrical rod is not used. It is just it is a waste. You have to throw it out because that 24 mm diameter rod you cannot further use it because the application says that the particular the specific application says that 25 mm exactly it is required to set up uh, to fix in particular uh, application so if you make it less you cannot add it so that uh, you have to be careful while machining so it is a material removal process okay material removal so we are removing the material 
how we are removing with the help of a cut tool cutting tool the help of a cutting tools that is called single point cutting tool the help of a single point cutting tool so this single point cutting tool you can see here so this is the single point cutting tool the help of single point cutting tool we are removing the material okay uh, so machine is a lathe we call that as a machine tool we call that as a machine tool and cutting tool machine tool is required cutting tool is required instead of saying a only lathe machine we have to say that lathe machine tool why we should why we should call as a machine as a machine tool that you have to understand um, because it you first you uh, think that what is the what is the meaning of tools what is the meaning of a tool tool which re, which require which serves the purpose that is called a tool say for example vegetable is there vegetable we will we want to cut the vegetable with the help of what with the help of what knife knife is a tool to cut a vegetable okay knife is a tool to cut a vegetable that means it is per, it is serving the purpose so machine tool it is serving the purpose of removing the material we call that as a machine tool so tool is a general word that means with the, the word help you are doing that it is like a help it is it is doing some help for us that is vegetable take an example of vegetable it is doing some help what help it is just cutting okay the knife is cutting the uh, vegetable so it is a tool so english actually the literal meaning of the tool is this the help of with the help of we use the software to, tools also but what software uh, you have drafted the letter for example what software you have drafted the letter in a computer you say ms word that is the tool ms word is the tool with the help of that i have drafted the letter i have typed the letter okay uh, the what help with the, with the what software tool you are just uh, drawn the chart i use ms excel excel is used to it is a tool used to draw the graphs or charts bar chart pie chart etc so tool you should understand a machine tool why we should say machine tool means a tool which will it will give some kind of help that is it will remove the material that is why we call it we are calling as a machine tools it's not simply say machine what is it? the lathe machine tool milling machine tool drilling machine tool etc so cutting tool means what cutting tool cutting tool it will cut the material it is a tool it cut the material that is called cutting tool we use single point cutting tool here in case of lathe we use single point cutting single point cutting tool means that only one point will be there with that point only the metal removal takes place that is why we call as a single point cutting tool but in the case of milling multi point cutter say multi point cutter we will use uh, so milling cutter is called a milling cutter so they we should we should not use single point there we should use multi point cutter in the case of milling machine okay so in the case of lathe we have to use single point cutting tool in the case of milling we have to use multi point cutting tool multi milling cutter okay so this lathe is especially used for cylindrical parts only round jobs cylindrical part that is why we call it a turning machine so we have to rotate a cylindrical job it is rotating we have to turn it we have to rotate it when you rotate it when you rotate it uh, the met, uh, uh, against the stationary against the stationary tool against the stationary tool is stationary work piece will be rotating this is the working principle of a center lathe tool is stationary tool is stationary it, uh, work piece is rotating in the clock anti clockwise or anti direction okay uh, so what will happen the metal removal takes place the chips metal is removed in the form of a continuous chips okay metal is removed in the form of a continuous chips or discontinuous chips so chips different types of chips are there based upon the the material property so material is highly ductile material is highly ductile means continuously you are going to get a chips continuous chips okay metal is not that much ductile then you will get uh, uh, some some discontinuous chips so when the continuous chips are you are getting continuous chips means you have to use some chip breakers to cut to cut the uh, that chip chip breakers are used okay uh, now coming to the working principle of a center lathe so working principle what is working principle means so cutting tool will remove the material okay 
so what we should do we have to fix the workpiece in the three jaw check we have to firmly fix the workpiece workpiece is clamped and workpiece will rotate it we have to rotate it because when you switch on the machine so this three jaw check it will rotate as the uh, jaw rotates the workpiece also will rotate workpiece also rotates so it is it is rotating in the anti clockwise direction and you are just moving the tool near to the workpiece and you are uh, machining you are removing the material so you have to give the force you have to give some sort of force when you give the force this cutting force we say cutting force so speed feed and sp cutting speed feed and depth of cut these three are the parameters for the machining okay speed what speed uh, at what speed work piece is rotating at what speed 500 rpm rpm is what revolutions per minute 700 rpm 1000 rpm what speed work piece is rotating okay at what feed work uh, tool okay now feed reference to tool feed f e e d f e e d feed at what uh, longitudinal feed you can see longitudinal feed here so at what feed the tool is moving okay what speed that speed means velocity the workpiece is rotating and what feed the tool is moving from this end to this end this end here also okay here also in all cases in this three cases it is applicable okay so what speed work workpiece is rotating 500 rpm 1000 rpm rpm means revolutions per minute at what feed uh, the tool is moving from this end the left hand left hand side to right hand side right hand side to left hand side what what is the distance what is the it's called linear distance okay and ne next depth of cut depth of cut how much amount of material is removed at one pass 1 mm 0.5 mm okay 2 mm so you should not take that more amount of material to be removed at a single stretch 2 mm material you should not remove because when the depth of cut increases the forces also increases there are chances of tool breakage or workpiece damage okay this this problem will be there so in such cases you have to go for a minimum depth of thickness so 0.5 mm 1 mm you have to give depth of cut that is small amount of material you have to remove okay for every pass so feed means what longitudinal feed longitudinal distance the linear distance traveled longitudinal or linear both are same linear distance traveled by the tool from linear distance traveled by the tool with respect to the time so how much uh, distance it has traveled say for example i will tell 20 mm per minute 20 mm per minute means what that is the uh, unit for the feed 20 millimeter it has gone for one minute the tool travel is 20 millimeter tool travel is 20 millimeter for one minute for every one minute 20 millimeter 20 mm per minute 30 mm per minute 30 mm per minute means what 30 millimeter for a one minute 30 millimeter one minute that is for one minute the tool travel takes place 30 millimeters that is the meaning of uh, feed okay so now you are seeing this figure first figure is cylindrical turning next is facing next is taper turning so when the uh, axis of rotation the tool moves if the tool moves the tool is moving parallel to the axis of rotation okay tool is moving from right hand side to left hand side parallel to the axis of rotation this is the axis of rotation okay this is the axis of rotation it is moving parallel then we will get a cylindrical turning when the tool is moving perpendicular in this direction the axis of rotation the tool is moving perpendicular like this we are getting facing operation okay in taper turning tool is moving at an angle to the axis of rotation tool is moving at an angle you can see the angle taper taper turning okay the tool is moving parallel to the axis of rotation we will get a cylindrical turning when the tool is moving perpendicular to the axis of rotation we will get the facing when the tool is moving at an angle tool is moving at an angle to the axis of rotation we will get the taper turning so turning is used for reducing the diameter so you want to make 30 mm diameter 25 mm diameter turning is used the turning uh, is used to reduce the diameter of the workpiece facing facing if you cut like this length of the workpiece will be reduced so facing is used to reduce the length of the workpiece you have 100 mm length here workpiece you want to make a 90 mm then facing operation is used 
whenever you want a tapered surface the taper turning operation is used so this is the working principle of center lathe next go for a parts of lathe so there are different parts are there you can see here so here say many parts are there you can see uh, first one so this is a bed this is a bed this is very important so bed is very important because all the parts head stock tail stock all are mounted on this okay carriage is also mounted on the bed so bed is made up of a, a cast iron because it has to hold the uh, load vibrations and load uh, then uh, uh, it has to withstand all the forces that is bed should be very strong is like our foundation okay our house uh, we should have a strong foundation for a house we should have a strong foundation so for a machine the bed should be a strong so because we are mounting a headstock here mounting other tail stock mounting a carriage here so all these parts are mounted on this bed so bed must be a strong to withstand the load that is for vibration uh, when the machine is non condition it is a rotation it produces so, so many vibrations so it's, uh, it has to withstand the vibrations uh, then only the work piece damage uh, will not take place tool damage will not take place uh, further you will get good accuracy and surface finish the vibrations are more then the uh, accuracy and surface finish will be less because it will just uh, it will deviate from the axis of rotation so that is very important so it is a rigid structure which forms the base or a foundation to support all the parts such as head stock tail stock carriage etc it is made up of usually gray cast iron at the top of bed you can see the guide base here so these are the uh, guide base next is head stock the head stock means it is like our head okay head uh, without head we cannot so if a headache is there you will do work no it is not possible so head stock uh, head stock all mechanisms will be there is a gear box uh, spindle everything will be there in this spindle that we have to uh, it is supported with the uh, what do you call this a check a three jaw check in this we have to fix the work piece and we call this as a life center it is called as a, a life center because it is rotating this check is rotating so in the check only we are fixing the work piece firmly so uh, so it is called as a life center uh, head stock uh, head stock is mounted on the left hand side of the lathe bed it is the left hand side of the lathe bed uh, it, is a, it consists of a spindle it is a housing for a spindle driving gears all mechanisms are there here gear mechanisms will be there inside the uh, head stock next is the tail stock so this other end of the lathe is called as a tail stock this is also very important it serves the two purpose one is it is uh, used to support the other end of the workpiece because one end of the workpiece is fixed here and the other end is supported with the tail stock spindle it is a dead center because the dead center is a sleeve a small thing is called a sleeve uh, then another purpose for the uh, tail stock is for use drilling operation when you want to drill on a cylindrical rod or this is another uh, phase you can use the drill bit you can fix the drill bit here and you can make the hole so it is tail stock serves the two purpose one is to one is to support the the other end of the workpiece second one is to make a, a drill on a workpiece by fixing a drill bit inside of this uh, tail stock we can use the you can draw you can drill the hole on a workpiece so it, here you can have the hand wheel and this is sleeve or a clamp is there and it is a heavy the cast iron block uh, so it is very you must be very careful about this tail stock because the tail stock it moves from this end to this end it has a provision because in the guide ways are there when you just apply a force the tail stock is able to move on these guide ways and sometimes without unknowingly if you just drag the tail stock this end and the more total tail stock will come outside and there is a chance of falling the total tail stock assembly on the floor sometimes if your legs are there anything is there here it will fall on that there will be a, a literally big damage for your accident will take place so you must be very careful in the tail stock handling okay uh, next another important thing is a carriage so carriage consists of so many things here saddle consists of saddle next is a cross slide next is a compound rest tool square tool post okay uh, so this apron mechanism will be there the hand wheels are there then tell me first what is the uh, spaddle what is a saddle so saddle is a part of a carriage that can be made to slide along the bed base it supports the cross slide compound rest and tool post okay next what is a cross slide 
the cross ride is mounted on the saddle it can be made to move in direction perpendicular to the saddle movement a perpendicular lathe axis thereby providing a necessary uh, depth of cut of the workpiece next compound rest so compound rest is there here you can see the compound rest so it is mounted on the it is mounted on the cross slide and supports the tool post so it supports the tool post the compound rest has a circular base graduated degree because you require whenever you want a taper turning so graduations require what angle you should do 5 degree 10 degree so that you have to lose the screw there and you have to again make it 5 degree and tight the screw then you can do the machining operation so this helps the cutting tool to be swiveled at any angle to obtain taper surfaces next tool post is a very very important tool post because we have to fix the single point cutting tool in the tool post so where we are fixing the single point cutting tool in the tool post in the tool post we are fixing the single point cutting tool with some packing material and here bolts and nuts will be there and you have to use the bolts or tighten the bolts and nuts to because single point cutting tool firmly it has to be seated in the uh, tool post next apron is that it is fitted the beneath the saddle or the facing of the operator it houses the gears levers hand wheels and clutches operate the carriage by hand, by hand or by automatic power feed apron mechanism next lead screw uh, lead screw is this is the lead screw you want to make a threads on the workpiece this lead screw uh, it is long shaft with square threads cut on it okay uh, next the rotation of the lead screw facilitates the movement of carriage during the thread cutting operation so automatically semi automatically you can uh, you can make you can make this carriage to move without hand wheel you can rotate this hand wheel to move the carriage from this end to this other end and if you just unlock it uh, unlock it by using a half nut mechanism uh, then the carriage will move automatically uh, in the forward direction and you just make it a backward direction the carriage will move in backward direction so this is about the uh, lead screw next legs legs are there so these are both legs legs that is the whole entire thing will stand on these legs it must be very strong it must be very strong take the entire load of the machine so they are firmly secured to the floor by means of foundation bolts in order to prevent the vibrations of the machine during operation so this is a foundation here so this is the foundation you should have a cement concrete foundation because it has to withstand the entire loads and vibrations coming coming from the machine during the during the operation okay during the operation so it has to withstand that is why strong foundation is required so this is about the various parts of lathe you can see here the machine actual picture of the machine so here you can see the three jaw chuck this is headstock assembly entire headstock this is a tailstock assembly is a hand wheel and this is a carriage what you have seen here this is the bed white color thing what you are seeing is the bed here so this is a lead screw and here you have the tool post and this is light they have given because sometimes light is required for you and these are the gear mechanism to change the gear uh, gear mechanisms so this is a hand wheel of a tailstock A specification of leather is a specification means how we have to specify what is the requirement how the, what is the capacity what is the capacity of the uh, specific uh, there is a meaning of specification of lathe so here first we can specify the lathe uh, in, uh, first is distance between the centers this is, a, this is a, a live center and this is a dead center so what is the total distance between one meter or two meter depending upon that I can say the specification so one meter means small lathe two meter distance means is a again it is a bigger size three meter so depending upon the distance how much is the distance between the distance between this life center and this dead center within which you can operate you can keep the workpiece you can keep the workpiece this much length of workpiece you can keep okay next swing diameter swing diameter maximum diameter workpiece that can revolve swing okay is also called as height of the center so from here to here height is how much height that, that, that much you can keep so diameter work piece you can keep 100 mm work piece 100 mm diameter imagine 100 mm diameter means so 
so that much big diameter you can keep it should not touch over the work piece should not touch the bed okay work piece should not touch this portion okay height so that is height the you can 100 mm is possible so depending upon that you can specify next uh, uh, length of the bed uh, length of the bed it indicates the uh, approximate floor space occupied by length how much how much the length of the bed next uh, range of spindle speed finally you can say about the spindle speed so 1500 2500 3500 depending upon the sp spindle speed rpm revolutions per minute you can just uh, uh, specify the lathe so uh, given here specification of lathe is defined by one or more one or more of the following criteria this distance between the center swing diameter uh, height of the center length of the bed range of spindle seal so this completes the uh, lecture class one on the lathe machine in the next class we'll discuss about the what are all the operations can be performed in the lathe machine so thank you for watching the video